here I got my centrifuge cleaning waste vegetable oil and I'll show you the float rating of the rate of the flow when it cleans it it's a little bit loud I guess everything's vibrating here approximately 8 to 10 hours to fill up this drum, 55 gallons. That's roughly what a, my cargo van, which is a 7.3 IDI, it takes roughly 6 to 8 hours depending on the load and what I'm carrying inside of it. This is how much that thing burns, it's 65 to 70 miles an hour, what rate you're seeing right here. Looks a lot, That's because it is a lot. It do burn a little bit, but hey, when you have customers that give you the oil for free, just go pick it up. It's still not bad. Also, you can see right here, right there, that is a Rakor, a Rakor. Actually, I don't want to give a name because that I could be wrong. Anyways, inside of it, it's a 2 micron filter before it goes into the tank. Right there, I got a pump, 12 volt pump, got a battery right there. Uh, that pump does do the job, but since this is a 2 micron, it's hard to push the oil through. So right here, I'm going to add another pump, actually, a 12, uh, not a 12 volt, 110 volts. And right here, I got, if I can see the oil as it goes through, then I got a silicone hose. This is my, yeah, people probably know what this is, same like you see at the gas station, or the meter, that doesn't work because the flow is so a little bit and thick, that's why I gotta add a second pump, so yeah, this hose is long enough that I just uh, temporarily I got a tank in here. There's my tank right there, 40 gallons. And yeah, I just use the hose to fill her up, nothing to it. Very simple, gravity, gra gra gravity fed. And 
here, this goes right here, down this pipe. So I've got a shut off valve if I need to shut it off. It goes into the heat exchanger, heat it up to 260 or is it 10, 240? It's under 300 uh, Fahrenheit. Any loops down in here. Right here I got my control valve. How much I want the flow in there, which I don't want too much. And it cleans, believe it or not, this thing cleans, I would say, under one micron. Because that filter right there never gets clogged, no matter how much oil I put through it. Never gets clogged, I never see water at the bottom. You can see right here, I got a water separator. And there's just no water, nothing. Real clean. What I do is, uh, there's my waste vegetable oil tank. I let it settle. You see right there at the bottom, the lard. I don't suck that into the drum over there. I just leave it there, and yeah, I have another one here. You can see down there where you got the lard. I can see it better right down there. Better leave it alone. I don't mess with that. Every toast gonna have that. I got a couple, a few. And right here, I just have a pump. Where is that pump? Right there is the pump. I use that to suck out of the tote. Just for now, this is temporarily. This is actually on wheels. I just moved this here because this is where I got my totes. Where I'm keeping them, so I just moved this whole system over here. But very simple, nothing to it. The main key is to have a very minimal flow. I would say one gallon to eight minutes minimum. And that will clean your oil very good. Even if you get it to 10, I should say one gallon to 10 minutes, that's even better. Like I said, that drum will take almost approximately 12 hours if it's real, minim uh, real, real slow. But I usually do it between eight and 10 hours. I fill that drum with waste vegetable and that's pretty much under one or minimum of one micron and like I said that filter up there is a two micron because they don't make any lower for that typical uh, water separator which is no big deal because on the van or the vehicles that I'm us using the oil on they all have between six and eight micron so the only one that I think has two micron is uh, the Dodge Commons with the common rail that might have a two micron so this is perfect to use as a dual system. I do not recommend you doing this straight in a vehicle like I did in one of my TDIs. Got 100,000 miles before I pretty much all the rings were frozen onto the piston. Uh, you'll see that in one of my other videos when I'll get a chance to post. But yeah, there you go. Easy setup. Nothing to it. Everything that I use is leftover besides the centrifuge and the filter is used. So that subject is not that cheap. That was like eighteen hundred dollars, I believe. Or I'm sorry, fifteen hundred. Actually, eighteen hundred with the heat exchanger and some other things that I got for it. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment.